It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with the man with the plan and our chief investment officer and my father, <laughs> Bob Payne, right here in the studio this morning together. Doesn't happen very often. Good morning, Dad. No, it's great to be here with you, son. Uh, we had a terrific Christmas party this week. And uh, everybody behaved. Everybody, uh, I think, yeah, for the most part, I think everyone did behave. You know, maybe a slight hangover here and there, but for the most part, I think everybody yeah, had a good time and uh, it was a great way to uh, celebrate the holiday season. A few good stories to tell in the office for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, we've got a great show this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about are you on track or are you financially lost you may have put together a financial game plan many years ago. When was the last time you had it updated? Are you on track or do you need to fine tune where you are financially? We're going to talk about stages of retirement planning. What stage of retirement planning are you now? Bob and I are going to break down the different stages and let you know what tweaks you want to make depending on what phase you're currently in. Along with this week's financial pornography, there's a lot of stuff out there in the financial media. We want you to avoid at all costs. And we have one of our certified financial planners on the show this morning, Courtney Dominguez. She worked on her case this past week, and she's going to go through, and we're going to talk about some of the pain points or mistakes these retirees were making with their retirement planning, so you can avoid those mistakes. So let's get right to it. You know, it's no fun to get lost, Bob. No, I've been lost a lot of times in my life, son. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so many ways, Bob. That's true. You know, whether you're in your car, you make the wrong turn. Well, same thing can be with retirement planning. You know, you can lose your way along the way. And, you know, what are some of the reasons we get lost when it comes to our investment and retirement planning? Well, a lot of it has to do with your tools, right? If you have the wrong tools. I remember when I got my first car with a GPS. And uh, being a male, I didn't trust it, but, you know, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, you were in the car with me. We decided to go down to that meet your sister was running in, cross-country meet, and down in Delaware, and I knew a shortcut, and the GPS kept telling us, no, you're wrong, you're wrong, and we kept saying, no, we're right, we're right, and we missed the race. <laughs> so, so sometimes you got to trust your tools, and a lot of times, some of these tools can put you in the wrong direction. I mean, how many stories have you read where people drive their car up a cart path on a golf course, or they drive into a lake because... The GPS told them to go there. You know, what if your tool is telling you to go in the wrong direction with your portfolio, right? What are some of those problems? Yeah, and I think that you see a lot today. Some of those problems can be a lot of these online calculators that aren't exactly 100% correct. They tend to run the numbers in a vacuum. And that's the thing. I mean, there's so many moving parts when it comes to your retirement planning that you need more than just a, a simple online calculator to figure out, you know, if you're comfortable to retire. Because the one thing I think about is, you know, are you measuring risk? what kind of pitfalls you're going to have along the way. And it's hard to analyze those unless you have a real holistic view of what's going on. Yeah, there's more to it than just uh, simple calculations. I mean, some of a lot of the tools that are out there on the internet now, they use straight line projections. You know, over time, the stock market makes 10. It doesn't return 10% in any one year. Some years it's up 30, some years it's down 20. But they take these calculators and they compound your money at a straight 10%. And that would have every tree growing to the sky and give you a false sense of uh, accomplishment because the market doesn't go up in a straight line. And it's really about, really more about behavior, right? And having someone who can guide you along the way because all investors are driven by those two emotions. That's right. I mean, let, let's be honest with ourselves. You know, did you end up panicking out of the market when it went down in 2008? Did you sell things at the bottom? You know, when the market was going straight up, we had the tech bubble. Did you get greedy? <laughs> did you hold on too long to different positions? And right now, it's the same thing. I mean, we're in a bull market for nine years. What adjustments are you making to your portfolio? And invariably, if you're not making them proactively, that's a big, big problem because when the market pulls back, things happen out there. If you're not being proactive about your strategy, you're going to end up in the same boat you did, you know, a couple of years ago when the market corrected and you didn't have the right protection in your portfolio. You know, Ryan, I heard a new term this week. A new term, Bob, enlighten yeah. me. A fully invested bear. 
What is a fully invested bear? It's someone who's fully invested in their in their asset allocation in their portfolio. Okay. But they're absolutely bearish on their outlook in the economy, on the market. But they're only in because the market's going up. <laughs> well, that doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, if you're bearish, wouldn't you have your money in cash or somewhere else? Well, that's the problem with investors, right? I'm going to stay in it as long as it goes up. But what are they going to do when it goes down? Right. And that's that's what you have to be thinking about. You know, What's your game plan when the market does go down? What's your game plan to draw from your portfolio when you're actually retired? And that's where you need to have that, that GPS that's accurate and follow it as opposed to saying, hey, I'm going to wing it. I'm going to try my own course because a lot of times you're just going to end up getting lost. And let's face it, Bob, as you get closer and closer to retirement, you know the ante is going up. You can't make the same mistakes you can make when you were younger. And that's why it's so critical. Get the correct plan in place now and follow it just like when you set the coordinates for the GPS. You have to follow it. Well, you know, Ryan, that's what I like about our planning tool because it puts everything into a graph, into a picture. You know what the best thing about a picture is? What is it? The old saying is a picture is better than a thousand words. It is. Actually, it saves me three hours of flapping my lips. That's what I like about <laughs> it. But it just, it's so important. I think it's so critical for all of us, you know, for you to see your future. Not just, you know, how much are you worth now and what your portfolio is returning in the last 12 months. I mean, it's all relative. It really doesn't matter. What really matters is what is it going to look like every year for the rest of your life? I mean, there's so many more things to do in life than work or uh, worry about your portfolio. You want to be able to enjoy yourselves and having a picture, knowing exactly what you're going to be worth, net of inflation, net of taxation, what you're going to be able to spend, what you're going to be able to gift. That's so critical. And it makes it so simple. Yeah, I know. And that's where, you know, being financially lost is also just not knowing what's going on. If you don't know what your budget is, if you don't know where your assets are, these are the first steps to becoming, you know, financially uh, in tune as opposed to lost. And that's what I love about, you know, our portal is load everything into one place. Let's look at everything. Let's understand where everything is, how it's working together. What I love is you can put a budgeting tool in. You can go through. It'll start to track your credit card. So you can see what your real expenses are. What are you really spending? Because these are all the things you need to know once you get to retirement. Yeah, and I think it's uh, the nice thing is just you take a look when you need to look. Because what happens is people try to ignore the planning part of it because it's hard work, right? Yep. And uh, they end up daydreaming, right? What's the, you know, what are the risk of daydreaming about your future? You know, that's, that's the thing, right? If you're daydreaming about your future, you don't know what's really going on. And that's an active decision too, not to know what's going on in your portfolio and not to know what you're spending. And you know, that's why what we would like to do is offer, if you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, Bob and I will do this for you. We will make sure you're not financially lost. We'll put together for you our total financial master plan. We'll do it with no obligation or cost. That's a full review where we look at everything. We'll take all those statements you have from your brokerage accounts, your 401ks, IRAs, your savings accounts, your insurance policies. We're going to load them all into a personalized portal for you, and we're going to analyze exactly where you are in your financial life, exactly where you need to be, and we're going to look at your full portfolio in a holistic view. We're going to look at income. Income is critical in retirement. Can you increase or optimize the income on your portfolio? We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? Are there hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying? Do you have expensive mutual funds, annuities, insurance products? We're going to break it down so you know all the costs and help you reduce all the fees on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks and pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? If the market corrects tomorrow, are you properly protected? We're going to point out all the areas you need to work on on your portfolio to make sure you're retirement ready. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine, is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money utilizing strategies now we have worked on for literally 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 844- 752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, then you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. Just give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Ryan Payne, and we're No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio.
From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages in how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call today for a complimentary review. 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain market update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer here at Payne Capital Management. And the stock and bond market took a back seat this week to Bitcoin mania as the digital currency jumped 40% in about 40 hours, smashing through five separate $1,000 barriers and surging past the $17,000 mark only to fall the next morning to 14000 How's that for volatility? Now, investors rushed into Bitcoin this week ahead of the launch of the first Bitcoin futures market set to go live this Sunday. Its gains so far this year are closing in on 2,000%, and that's sparking a frenzy that we haven't seen here on Wall Street in many, many years. Now, if you didn't know, Bitcoin is a digital form of money, except there's no government or central bank providing it or standing behind it. What Bitcoin is literally is software. You know, it's a computer program that runs across an interlinked network of computers and allows people to exchange value on the Internet. Now, some people out there believe that Bitcoin is going to become a global currency, but many others believe it's just an investment mania. Whatever it is, it's up big this year. But guess what? It's not a record. In 2013, Bitcoin actually jumped more than 5,000 percent. Of course, the next year, it lost 60%. So our advice here at Payne Capital Management is caveat emptor. Let the buyer beware. Now, if you're not sure what you own or know why you own it, why sit there and wonder? Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne, and we're No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know in the winter of 1780, it was so cold that the New York Harbor froze over? You could have walked from Manhattan to Staten Island on the ice. Let's hope it doesn't get that cold ever again. Although, if you had some sled dogs, it could do wonders for the commute. Anyway, keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. Mush! It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne. No pain, no gain, financial radio. And one of Bob and I's goals at Pain Capital is education, education. We want to make sure that you filter out all the noise out there and make practical, common sense decisions about your finances and investing. And in order to do that, we put together our newest guide for you, Seven Smart Year-End Tips for the Savvy Investor. Just some practical tips that you can apply to your portfolio at year-end here. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. You can get our newest guide. Just some tips that you can use here at the end of the year. There's some simple things you can do with your portfolio. So go ahead and text the word bullish to 555-888. You can get our seven smart year-end tips for the savvy investor. It's our newest guide just to give you some practical things to do here before December 31st that you can do today to help optimize your taxes and returns on your portfolio. And what we want to talk about in this segment is there's different stages of retirement planning. Bob, you know, let's start with 15 years before retirement, you know, which means you're probably in your 50s. You know, what are some of the main financial issues that you need to focus on when you're about let's say 15 years away from retirement. I think they're the most critical years, right? You know, prior to retirement because it's 
typically when you're at your highest earnings years, right? It's mm-hmm. where you've been in a career, you've had a profession, you now have a chance to maximize that income where you still have the energy you know, to work hard. So some of the things that you need to do when you're in your 50s is number one, maximize out that 401k or 403b profit sharing plan and also take advantage of the catch-up provisions. Yeah. Right, because when you're, when you're 50, you can then add another thousand. But you know the most important thing is make sure you're in a position where you can continue to work in that profession for the next 15 years. You know, I see so many people make big mistakes in their early 50s. They chop down that big tree that they grew their whole life. And it's the biggest risk you take, you know, jumping jobs or changing careers yeah. in those years. It's very risky and people don't see it that way because in today's world, people jump from job to job all the time. That's right. But those 15 years are absolutely critical. You know, you also want to, you know, make sure that you have all your ducks in order. You know, I'm talking about your pensions and things you may be entitled yes. to, right? I mean, when you're 25, they tell you you have a pension in your future. Like, yeah, like someday I'll actually be 65. Well, like I am, uh, <laughs> you know, it comes faster than you think. You want to make sure that they, you know, that you're getting everything you're entitled to, that they don't forget who you are. You know, you can get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, and I think that's that's a good point. I mean, I think what happens too is when you're in your 50s, it's a good time just to tally things up. Where are those old 401ks from past jobs that you have? What are they doing now? You know, what IRAs do you have, brokerage accounts? And I, I met with a client the other day who's in his mid 50s, and he's entitled to a pension. Actually, he can start taking it now in his 50s, and we ran the math on it. He would get a higher benefit later. We figured if he takes it right now, his break even is into age 80. So we're actually going to start taking some of his cash flows now, which you would think in his 50s, well, I'm not ready for that yet, but the math worked where it's time to, to look at that. Which yeah, I always again, found in life, right, that now's better than later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Yeah. laughs> you make the argument about Social Security as well. So I think it's a good time just to assess what your net worth is, where everything is, and how do you start to optimize that and gear it towards retirement. Now, Bob, when you start to get in even closer to retirement, maybe make five to 10 years, maybe now you're 60, getting closer to 65, what are some of the things now you need to do that you know wasn't important before you came into that, what we call the financial red zone, about five years from retirement? Yeah, it's just like football, right? That, uh, that red zone, it gets more difficult to score um, <laughs> than anywhere else on the field, and it's much more important, right? You really got to be more focused. Right. So I think you know, one of the things is you got to have a social security strategy. You know, people think yes. it's so simple. Right, and and I think the government makes a, a big mistake, not really doing a good job of educating people about Social Security, and also because of the uncertainty of our government, you know, and the uncertainty of the payment. A lot of people take it early, even though they shouldn't. That's uh, right. Yeah, because they're afraid. Uh, oh well, you know, the government's not going to have the money, or they're not going to. Um, you're only going to give me a third or two thirds of what I'm entitled to, and it is something you're entitled to. You paid into it. It's your money. Drives you crazy when people call it an entitlement. It's not. It's your money. So I think having a strategy is absolutely critical. And, you know, just spelling all those myths about uh, Social Security and pensions. But I think, you know, you really got to start to think differently about your portfolio. Don't you think? I mean, you're not in the accumulation phase anymore. Yeah. And this is something we talk about a lot. But we have to start thinking about your portfolio is there's two phases. There's the wealth accumulation side. That's kind of the Wild West. It's like put the money into a growth strategy. Who cares if the market has a big correction? You can make it up because you're putting a lot more money into your, you're generating the wealth so you can keep adding to it. Well, you're not going to have that many more years to add to your portfolio. You have to start building what we call a wealth distribution strategy. And that's managing the risk. You know, you got to make sure that you have the safety in the portfolio, Bob. Also, what kind of income does your portfolio produce? Income is a much more reliable way to draw from your portfolio than hoping for a capital appreciation. So and true. You, you need to start optimizing that. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of times people look at the rate of return and like, oh my goodness, I made 2,000% this year in my Bitcoin. Try to repeat that next year, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, what I love about the stock market is that it's not just about appreciation. You know, dividends are so important. I mean, what yeah. percentage of the return, right, comes from dividends? Well, historically, if you go back about uh, 80, 90 years, it's literally 40% of your return. Think about that. Almost half your return has nothing to do with the market going up or down. It has everything to do with the cash flow you're collecting, which you know we don't realize that. That's the thing. I you know it always bothers me when people are so fearful they sit in cash, you know, and get a zero percent yield, where you can have an investment where the dividends increased every single year. I mean, there are companies out there that have increased their dividend every year consecutively 
for 50, 60 years. I mean, that's a pretty good track record. Oh, yeah. I mean, I sat with um, an individual this past week. He had $700,000 in cash. And I met with him two years ago. Still hasn't done anything. And I'm thinking, you know, I said, hey, look, you're right. This money is completely safe. But you're losing against inflation. You know, mm. how much is the cost of living going up mm. over the course of the last couple of years? And how much money are you sitting on cash right now that you know has earned nothing? You know, and I always think about it, Bob, a diversified portfolio like the ones we build with bonds in there, you have real estate exposure, you have stock market exposure, and you're getting almost, you're getting three and a half percent a year just in cash flow. That's 350% better than sitting in cash. Why in the world would you sit in cash right now? That's one of the biggest mistakes you're making as an investor, especially if you're getting retirement ready. The thing about being in the financial red zone is that uh, you know ultimately you're going to score, right? You're going to get into the end zone, but that's not the end, is it? I mean, you know, the day you retire, it's not over. Yeah. What do you got to think about then? Well, that's it. Once you're in retirement and a whole new journey begins with your money, and that's the thing, you know, when it comes to your planning, it's an ongoing process. It's a working document. You know, the worst thing you can do is, did you have someone set up a financial plan for you five, six years ago? Said you're great. And now you think it's on autopilot. I mean, that's just not the case because now you have to worry about managing the risk. You have to start thinking about your budget. You know, what are you spending? What's inflation going to look like? Because you could be retired with the way longevity is now for 20, 30 years. So think about all the healthcare costs you might be paying at that time frame. All that stuff needs to be modeled out and looked at often. Well, really what it comes down to, Rise, you want to be organized, right? So yep. when you talk to about 20, 30 people a week, and you know, on a scale of one to 10, when you ask them how financially organized are you, what do they typically tell you? I'm going to guess your answer is probably, the typical one is about a four. If you're to be honest with yourself, you're probably a four. And if you are going to ask yourself right now, where would you want to be in terms of being financially organized in your life? What number would you say? I want to be a 10, Bob. You want to be a 10, yes. And you know what? If you want to be a 10 in financial organization and, and you know succeed in that age 50 or in that red zone or in retirement, all you need to do is be one of our next 10 callers. Now, if you've saved over 200000 for retirement, my son Ryan and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. You know, that means you can get rid of all those other passwords and security questions. It means all of your accounts can be viewed in one financially organized window on your financial future. You know, if something happened to you, think how easy it would be for your children, for your spouse, just to keep things going forward and keep things organized. Now, all you have to do is pick up the phone and give us a call because we're going to tie it all together for you in our 360 financial portal. It'll give you a window into your financial future. We'll do wealth projections. It'll update daily in real time and answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? And we're going to help you with the strategies we've been utilizing now for over 40 years. That's for four decades of experimentation on how to get people from point A to point B to their dreams, to their goals, with their values, with the least amount of risk, and as much certainty as fiduciaries like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Be one of the next 10 callers. Call or text us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 844- Seven five two six six nine two. Get a full holistic review of all of your portfolio at eight four four Plan NYC. Call or text us at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Again, take advantage of this full review of all of your assets. Find out are you financially secure? Are you financially ready? At eight four four Plan NYC. That's eight four four seven five two. 6692. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. At Pain Capital Management, we understand how crucial Social Security is to your retirement. However, Social Security is confusing, and there are many ways to claim your benefits. That's why we've developed 10 strategies for maximizing your Social Security benefits. If you text the word BULLISH to 555-888, we'll send you a link to download your free copy. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888 and you'll receive a link to register. The social security system is complex. Make sure you're making the most of your benefits. Get started today by texting the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. 
text the word bullish to 555-888. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So, Bob, what uh, interesting, obnoxious, lurid uh, information did you find out there this week in the financial media? Well, Ry, there are a lot of people writing about what investors fear most when it comes to investing. And what do you think that is? I'm going to say in my almost 20 years, there's always the fear of the eminent stock market correction. Yeah, so we want to talk today in our financial pornography section about the legends of the fall. Right? I like that. The legends yeah. of the fall. So the, the first legend is bear markets happen all the time. True or false? I'm going to say that is absolutely false. Our belief about how often markets correct is completely incorrect. Well, how many big, bad bear markets have there been since 1970? Since 1970. So that's that's almost, what, 50 years? I'm going almost. To say. Almost. That's almost, yeah, yeah. yep. Yeah, almost 50 years. I'm going to say there's been about, it's a wild guess, I'm going to say it's been about six. Well, you're right on schedule. And, uh, you know, but people think they happen all the time, right? Because we had two, you know, since 2000, but basically about once every 10 years. So that's basically about 15% of the time, if I'm doing the maths correct, that you actually have a downturn in the market, which that means 85% of the time, Bob, markets actually go up. Now, that's a 20% decline. Right, that's how you define a bear market. Right, but you know, how about a big financial crisis? How many of those have we had? Well, we I lived through two of them already in my last. Uh, it's been a little bit skewed in eighteen years. We've had two that were above, I'd say, about forty percent. But over almost a fifty-year time period, that's what we're asking. Yeah, how about over a hundred years? Hundred years? Oh man, I'm gonna say there's been. I'm gonna say five or six. How about four? Four. That's four it. Four in a hundred years. Yes, and. You know, the big financial crisis that we experienced in 2008, do you know when the previous one was? I'm going to say it was 1929 crash. 1929. So you got about 70 years to worry about the next financial crisis. So I think most people can relax when it comes to, you know, something as bad as a, you know, big, bad bear market. Wow. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, actually. Now, these big uh, bear markets that we're talking about, the, the six that have happened since 1970. Right. Second legend of the fall is. They last a long time. That's right, because it always feels a lot worse than it actually is. So what's the statistics, Bob? Well, basically, you know, typically it takes a few quarters for it to recover. So, and how many of those 20% declines have been permanent declines, right? Zero percent. The market's 0%. always recovering going higher. It's amazing, yeah. right? I mean, it's, a, it's like everybody's so fearful of a 20% decline what it is, is the greatest buying opportunity of your life. Yeah. No, I mean, that's the thing to think about. I mean, I think about our own portfolios that we built in 2008. And not only because of our diversification did we go down less, but you had recovered everything within 12 months plus, less than two years. Not only did you recover what you lost, but you were above where you are before. And if you're going to be invested for 30, 40 years, you know, what's the significance of 12 to 24 months. We get very myopic when it comes to investing. Well, here's a really good statistic for you. Okay. In uh, five of those six 20% declines, right. 10 years later, what was the return on the market? Oh, wow. Okay. So after having a big decline like that, if you stayed invested in 10 years, I'm going to say your cumulative return or average annual return. Let's give you a number. Cumulative return is, I bet you're up 100%. Yeah. You doubled your money. Wow. Now, we're talking about, I don't think any of you are sitting there thinking, well, I'm done investing in 10 years. You know, nobody has a 10-year time horizon. We all have 20, 30, 40-year time horizons. So if you're sitting there looking at your portfolio, worrying about a down market, I hope all you want to think about is, what what, what am I going to do to take advantage of this next buying opportunity? That's right. I mean, if you look at historically, any pullback or correction in the market is the time to buy. The key, though, is, and this is why you don't want to have all your money in stocks, because the market goes down and all your money's in stocks, you don't have any money you, to use to buy. And that's why it's important to have things like bonds in your portfolio, other diversifiers like hard assets. Commodities are an important component to your portfolio. But that diversification is critical. But yeah, good point. You know, If you think about it from the perspective of the market only corrects 15% of the time, why would I ever 
want to get defensive in my portfolio and sit in cash and wait for correction. It's not worth it. It's just not enough time to take advantage of it. And we waste so much time anticipating something that you can't anticipate. And as it turns out, the magnitude of the decline is only matched by the speed of the recovery. So as fast as it goes down, it comes back just as fast. Yeah, it's almost like, Bob, when you pull a rubber band back, the further you pull it back, the quicker it actually snaps back. And if you miss that snap back because you're worried about sitting in cash and trying to time it, you're out of your mind. So I think the, uh, the lesson learned, uh, the legends of the fall, is simply this, Rye. It's corrections or volatility is the inevitable part of the market. You can't anticipate them, so don't worry about them. And everyone in history has been a buying opportunity. So if you're a smart investor, if you now are knowledgeable, now you know that all you have to do is rebalance your portfolio whenever there's a dislocation in the market. It's temporary, it's healthy, and it's, it makes you more wealthy. Wow, Bob, I think that's you've come up with a new uh, tagline. <laughs> 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 We're going to use that more often now. I and mean, that's it. You know, if you're thinking to yourself right now, you know, am I properly diversified? Do I have money correctly spread out? Am I too concerned about a market correction? Do I have too much money sitting in cash worrying about the next eminent correction that's probably not going to happen. Here's your time to get a full review and a proper strategy to get you through retirement. So if you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will take the time to run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. We're going to look at everything, bring in all of your statements. We're going to load them all into a personalized portal we can do a full analysis to see how well allocated you really are, to see exactly what pitfalls you have in your portfolio. We're going to look at everything from a bird's eye view. We're going to look at things like income. You need income in retirement. What type of income is your portfolio producing? Is it retirement ready? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There are a lot of hidden fees in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. And those mutual funds, those annuities, life insurance products, Bob and I are going to break down all the fees in your portfolio and show you how to reduce costs so there's more money going into your pocket. And we're going to look at diversification. Are you properly diversified? Do you have the proper asset allocation based on what your goals are? We're going to tie everything into your goals and make sure that your portfolio is retirement ready so you can avoid those pitfalls along the way. Then we're going to tie it all together. We're going to run projections to determine, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family, we've worked on for over 40 years, time tested to make sure your family can get from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. This is an opportunity of a lifetime, so don't miss out. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team here at Payne Capital Management will create for you your own 360 financial portal. All you have to do is call or text 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know pinball was once banned in the city? It was in place until 1978. Speaking of pinballs, if you're tired of watching your accounts bounce all over the place, you should keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. It's No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to educate you. And the reason why we do these shows, we put this stuff together, is to give you practical, common sense advice. There's so much noise out there in the financial world. We like to distill it down to basic information you can apply. And our newest guide to help you do that is seven smart year-end tips for the savvy investor. Just seven tips you can use here at the end of the year before December 31st on your portfolio to optimize taxes, optimize returns on your portfolio, If you'd like to get your free copy, simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888, and you can get our latest guide, Seven Smart Year-End Tips for the Savvy Investor. Simply text the word BULLISH to 
888. Again, that's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn a little more about myself and Bob, you can do that on the World Wide Web. Go to bebullish.com and you can see if Bob's hair is real, and it is. <laughs> I mean, learn a little more about our firm, what we do at Payne Capital Management. And also, if you ever have a question you want to ask myself for Bob, you can always email us directly, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if you have a really good question, we will answer it right here on the show just for you. And as every week, we got some pretty good questions. Bob, the first question comes in for you. It's from Howard. He's out in Melville, New York. He writes in, Bob, I've always been told to buy low and sell high. Makes sense to me. Mm. It seems like the market is really high right now, so I guess I should be selling. But my advisor hasn't mentioned anything about it. Should I just keep riding the market up? You know, Howard, that's an excellent question, and it's very simple. You really should buy low and sell high. That's a way to make money. But, you know, when you talk about the market, however, there's lots of different markets, right? You should be invested in the bond market. You should be invested in international equities as well as U.S. equities. Now, U.S. equities have outperformed the rest of the world. USA is number one. Let's hear it. USA, USA, <laughs> right? So we're doing best there. And you should be taking some of those chips off the table. Absolutely. Because the absolute key to successful investing is a goal-based strategy that's process-driven. And that should be driven on your goals, Howard. It should be based on what your desires are for what your money should do. Now, if your advisor is not talking to you about that, matter of fact, if they haven't met with you in the last 12 months to demonstrate that in writing, right. you got a problem. Yeah, that's a good point. And I think that's the other thing is your decision should never be driven by where the market is. If it's up too high or it's too low. You know, we have a saying, Bob, right? Anticipation is a dangerous game to play. Mm. More importantly, you know, you want to be selling and buying based on what your goals are. And what we mean by that is if the market's up this year, well, you need to be proactively rebalancing. And there's other things that didn't do well this year. And the whole idea of buying low, selling high is having a discipline that takes profits when markets are up and you buy when things are down. And more importantly, you got to take some risk off the table. Every good year you have, you got to add money to the safe part of your portfolio for protection especially as you get closer to retirement. Yeah, so true, Ryan. It's, uh, when it comes to investing, we like to buy low and hold forever because we don't like yeah. paying gains, capital gains tax and commissions. Yes. But you, know, you should be able to rebalance your portfolio systematically if you have a high income generating portfolio, which is not that hard to build. So Howard, excellent question. You are a perfect candidate for our 360 financial portal where not only would you be able to see what your net worth is every day, but all these specific goals. It would tell you if you're on track or lagging behind, and it would also monitor your portfolio for those overweights and, and would set off an alarm to say, Howard, time to sell. Couldn't be any simpler than that. Yes, technology is a good thing. We can use it to our advantage to help you make sure you're managing everything in one place with simplicity. So Excellent. Howard, thank you for that email. Excellent question. and. Hey, Ryan, let's reach into the bag here and see what else we have in our, in our mail bag this week. All right, what would you find, Bob? Uh, we got Helen in Westchester, and she tells us that her husband's military pension is a very nice monthly benefit. But after he dies, she doesn't get a penny. In retrospect, she wants to know, is that, was this a mistake? Is it anything that she can change, or how can she address a problem like this moving forward? Yeah, this is actually really common, and again, this is where modeling out different scenarios for retirement is critical, and this is one of the reasons why we like to run a dynamic financial plan where you can change the variables. And I found this, this is a very common thing where you know, you need to figure out once your spouse passes away, if there is a pension there and there is no benefit for you or the other spouse, if you're the one receiving the pension, it's so important to make sure that the assets that you put aside can cover lifestyle after that happens. Also, you can get creative, maybe looking at an insurance policy or some way to protect your spouse or if you're the spouse that needs to be protected, there's a lot of creative things that can be done there, Bob. Yeah, the numbers don't lie, Rye. I mean, it's uh, if you lay it out, it's better to know these problems before you know, it actually occurs. And we run into that so many times that people aren't aware. Let's face it, if you have a joint account, if you're, if you're in a relationship and your assets are in joint name, one of you is managing the financial affairs. The other one is either not interested or not educated or just too busy. 
if the financial savvy person passes away, and last I checked, Ry, no one leaves this mortal coil uh, alive. <laughs> yeah, so you don't want to be left in the dark. I mean, the, the beauty of having everything in one place with an advisor is that you know you don't lose a step, and you know exactly where everything is, and you're able to live your life going forward. But you know, planning is the key, and and just you know, it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth the effort. But more importantly. It's even better when you have it updated in real time and it's an ongoing process, all right? It's a disciplined process as opposed to every once in a while throwing some money into an account. Yeah, exactly right. And I think it's so important to know what happens when you're not on God's green earth. Is your spouse taken care of? And that's a big problem and that's something that needs to be addressed. You need to know that the right amount of income's there. You need to know that your spouse knows where the legal docs are because time and time again, these are the mistakes that we see is your spouse is left in the dark if things have not been taken care of ahead of time. If they don't have an interest in it, which is understandable, there has to be some sort of plan or someone has to know where everything is so that all those things can be addressed. That income plan can be basically initiated right away so there's really no no gap because you know once the other spouse has to deal with everything, it can be a very, very intense time and it can be a very, very emotional time to have to try to figure out the finances on top of grieving and all the other things that go with you know losing your partner. And if you're the uninterested spouse or the uninvolved spouse like Helen, and you're wondering what happens to me when my husband passes away or my wife passes away, what we'd like to offer you, if you're one of the next few callers, we have a few spots left, and you've saved over $200,000 for retirement, we'll help you to answer those questions. We'll put your mind at ease by simply running for you your own personal 360 financial portal. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put it all together. And we're going to put it all together into one complete analysis where we're going to look at all the things that are so critical to investment success. We're going to see if you have all your passive income streams titled properly. Is your estate plan in place? You know, it's wonderful to put together wills and trusts and all these documents and stick them in the drawer. But you know what's more important? Making sure that the assets are titled properly so that that estate plan is actually viable. You wanna make sure that you're not paying any unnecessary taxes. And we've got a lot of tax changes coming up. Now would be a great time to come see us to anticipate what those changes are and make sure that you're not paying any of those nasty, unnecessary taxes. But more importantly, we're gonna look at everything in your portfolio. And we're gonna see how well you're diversified to make sure that you're getting the returns for the risk that you're taking. There are a lot of pitfalls in investing. You don't want to find out about it after the fact. You want to be prepared before those things happen. We want to see if you're being overcharged on your investments. I don't know about you, but I really don't like being overcharged. And there's nothing worse than finding out after the fact that you paid a lot of hidden costs that weren't necessary. And lastly, we talk a lot about income. You know, Ryan always tells everyone income is much more dependable than capital gains. Let's make sure you're going to have that dependable income stream once you do reach that golden age of retirement. And finally, we'll tie it all together into your own personal 360 financial portal. We want to give you a window into your financial life. So we want to help your family like we've helped many families over the last 40 years get from your financial point A to your point B goals, your dreams. Do it with your values, with the least amount of risk, and as much certainty as a fiduciary can provide. So don't waste time. We have a couple slots left. Give us a call or text 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Get a full holistic review. Give us a call or text 844-PLAN-NYC. NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Again, we have a couple slots left this week. Take advantage. 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain. And again, if you want to get some tips at the end of the year here, just some practical advice that you can use for your portfolio, download our latest free guide, Seven Smart Year End Tips for the Savvy Investor. Simply text 555-888, the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H 
just want to keep you educated here at the end of the year, just some simple steps you can take to optimize taxes, improve the returns on your portfolio, go ahead and download for free our newest guide, Seven Smart Year-End Tips for the Savvy Investor. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And now it's time for my favorite part of the show, our spotlight segment. Each week what we do is we dissect a real financial plan and we uncover the flaws or what we call pain points, that's P-A-Y-N-E, so you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. And we have a very special guest on the show today, certified financial planner, superstar financial advisor, Courtney Dominguez, and sometimes called C-Money here in the office. <laughs> What's up, Court? Thanks for having me, guys. Great to be on the show with you this morning. As always, it's a pleasure. It is always a pleasure. So why don't you give us a rundown? I know you and I had worked on a case uh, a couple weeks ago, and maybe you can talk about some of the issues that this couple had with their planning and investing. Yeah. So this couple came to us who they're going into their retirement phase, which for a lot of people is a very different mindset when you have been in the, the savings phase for so long and now you're thinking, okay, can I start spending my money? And she came to us and said her biggest concern was that she feels like she needs to take more risk and get more growth or else her money's not gonna last her. So we sat down and really the first thing we did is go over your income, your expenses, your goals. And shockingly, we actually found out we can take a lot less risk for her than she's currently taking for her to meet her goals. Yeah, I and mean, that's one of the biggest ironies when it comes to investing. A lot of times we think we need to take more risk to get return but by being diversified, properly allocating the portfolio, most times you can take less risk and get better returns or returns that you need to get through retirement. And managing risk is one of the key components, really when you're building what we would call a wealth distribution portfolio or a retirement ready portfolio. Exactly, yeah, and then that's one big conversation we had was we wanna say, well, we need the growth for you, but really how much growth do we need? And also we need to protect that downside for you because when we're in the distribution stage, we're actually pulling from your accounts. We need to make sure we can withstand that. Of course, the more, the more conservative a portfolio is, the more income it generates. And you know, the thing that surprises me over the last 40 years, the majority of people that I've met with, more than 90% were taking more risk than necessary to achieve their goals. Yeah. So I think it's one of the biggest mistakes you make with your own portfolio mm -hmm. and really one of the biggest reasons why you need to have that reviewed on a systematic basis. So Courtney, what else uh, did you recommend to these fine folks? Actually, kind of another interesting point with them, which didn't have to do specifically with their investments, is they actually didn't have a lot of estate documents in place. Mm -hmm. And they had a question where they said, well, if something were to happen to one of us, can the other act on each other's behalf because we're married? Right, and the thing about their specific situation was the husband had assets solely in his name and she has assets solely in her name, and that's a big problem because if, God forbid, one of them passes, they can't just get access to the other one's portfolio, which is crazy. Exactly, so just because you're married doesn't mean you can make decisions on the other's account if your name is not on it also. So it's another reason we said, you know, you really just need to either retitle the accounts or get estate documents in place because if that's ever a concern, you need to make sure that you guys have the access you need. Yeah, it's not automatic like a lot of us think. You know, the beauty of the 360 financial portal is that when you hit a button to look at your net worth statement. Now, I know so many times your accountant calls us, your attorney calls us, they want a net worth statement and they just dread it because it takes so long to put those together. We can put it together at a push of a button. But when it comes to estate planning, so many times we've seen with a client that they don't have enough money in the spouse's name, just like your client, Courtney. And it's, you know, it's an easy fix, but you can only fix it if you can see it. Yeah. And it takes so long for you to put together your net worth statement. It's the number one reason why everyone should have a 360 financial portal. Don't you think, Rye? I agree. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for this client is we can actually take less risk for her, get her more diversified and get them ready for retirement then by doing all that, we're actually increasing their cash flow every single year by about $14,000, which is a nice chunk of change there. Yeah, I'm looking at this here, the analysis you ran, and that's the thing. It's income is so much more reliable and dependable than hoping that the market goes up in retirement. Mm -hmm. And to look at this portfolio and how you're able to say, hey, look, you're getting $19,000 a year in income on your portfolio. We can increase that to $34,000 a year that's a significant increase in income 
just better diversifying the portfolio, making it more retirement ready. You know, I find every time I come to visit you in New York that uh, the restaurants expect you to pay in cash or to pay with your credit card. And it's just a good point that you can't buy lunch with relative performance. So it's great to have your portfolio go up in value, but income, cash in hand, that's how you live your life. So especially when you're in that red zone close to retirement or you're actually in retirement or ready to get into retirement like these folks, they need that dependable stream of income that they can't outlive. And what a perfect time to look at that with the markets at all time highs, you know, capturing some of that growth and those gains and redistribute it into income producing investments just to get yourself set up correctly for retirement. I mean, huge, huge move to make and one you need to be making proactively. Yeah, I cannot agree more. And I think, you know, getting these plans done, step one is just making sure is everything organized? Are we ready for retirement? What do we need to change? It's definitely easier to do it before retirement, but anytime, definitely make sure you're getting that second opinion. We're happy to do that for you guys. Yeah. Awesome job, see money or Courtney Dominguez, whatever you feel like going on today. <laughs> if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I need a review like this. I need to know, can I increase the income on my portfolio? Am I retirement ready? Do I have my legal docs set up correctly? Here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now and you're one of the next few callers, myself, Bob, and Courtney will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we'll look at all of your statements, bring them in, get them off the web. We're gonna analyze all of it, load it into one personalized portal for you so we can do a full analysis of where you are and how retirement ready you actually are. And we're gonna look at all the key measurements on your portfolio. We're gonna look at income. We're able to increase this couple's income by $15,000 a year. Can we optimize the income on your portfolio? We'll show you how to do it. We're gonna look at diversification. Are you taking too much risk? Do you have enough risk in your portfolio? Do you have too much cash? We're gonna show you exactly how you need to allocate your portfolio to make sure that you can achieve your goals. And we're gonna look at those hidden pesky fees. What are you really paying on your portfolio? Are you being overcharged? We're gonna break down all the hidden costs on those mutual funds, annuities, all those high cost Wall Street investment products to show you how to reduce the cost on your portfolio. Then we're gonna tie it all together, run some analytics to determine, are you gonna outlive your money or is your money gonna outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. We have a few slots left, and if you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. Just give us a call or text 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Six six nine two. Well, another awesome show, and I have to say I'm impressed. Both of you have recovered and are up after a holiday party last night. <laughs> it was wonderful as always at that time of year. <laughs> the magical time. Very disappointed, Rye, you didn't wear the lampshade. <laughs> <laughs> There's always next year, Bob. <laughs> well, thanks again. Thanks for a great show. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.